What's up? We're Framing Hanley. I'm Nixon, vocals. I'm Chris, I play drums. I'm Brandon, I play guitar. I'm Ryan, I play guitar. I'm Luke, and I play bass. And like I said, we're Framing Hanley, and it's cool to be here on r TV. Usually, Chris writes everything, and then uh, we just play whatever he does. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, usually it's like either I'll have an idea lyrically or somebody will have an idea like on guitar originally, like acoustic. Usually it starts off in acoustic, and then uh, a couple of us will get together, and then we just bring it to the band, and it's like everyone just throws in you know, their part. And I, I think it's that's really one thing that makes our music so diverse is because we listen to a lot of different types of music, and I think with all of us, you know, throwing in our two cents on the song, it, it gives it so many different styles of music, I think. And, it really is one thing that helps our writing and, you know, always keeps us on our toes. Pretty much every song on the on the moment is, you know, either a song that, you know, about something that I went through personally or that I was watching one of my best friends, you know, in the band go through. And, um, I mean, it was, it, for me, that's always been an easy way to, you know, to write is, you know, something you experience. And on the, I know on the next record we're writing a, a concept record, so it's going to be something a little different, but it's a challenge that I think we're all really looking forward to. Um, Brett. Tesla, he's uh, in his defense, he was the stage bass player for Creed. He got paid to do it. Yeah. Um, no, he's also the lead singer of uh, of a band called Dark New Day. He used to be the lead singer of a band called Virgo Smirlo. He's uh, for me, it, it was a, it was really intimidating working with him because he's you know he's a lead singer, and uh, it, it was just it was the first time we ever worked with a producer, and for it to be another singer, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but. Brett really pushed us and helped us see as songwriters, you know, what we were capable of doing. And I, I don't think we would be at, a, I mean, at, it's 100 percent safe to say we wouldn't be where we are right now if it wasn't for Brett. Yeah, well, actually, before this whole uh, this whole thing with Lollipop happened recently, we were uh, we were starting to write already for our next record, and we we went and recorded with Brett uh, three new songs for the record, and then ended up recording Lollipop with him too. So right now it's just like we we have to wait and see. Uh, when we get the go ahead and start working our next record, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, hopefully, you know, it won't be till closer to in this year because uh, there's like new life in this record now at the moment, and uh, we're getting a chance hopefully to release another single here soon. So I'm excited about that. I mean, we're, we're all really big fans of Lil Wayne. I mean, and a lot of hip hop in general. <laughs> and uh, for me, I was on my way to rehearsal one day and I heard that song, and uh, I got to rehearsal and like a case of beer later. And we were it was going to be Ryan's first show, like his debut show in, our, in the band in Nashville, in our hometown. So we wanted to do something different. Um, <clears throat> so we, uh, I was like, well, why don't we cover that uh, Lil Wayne song, Lollipop? And they all laughed it off. And uh, I thought nothing of it. I didn't think anything would come from it. And uh, like 15 minutes later, Ryan was uh, playing the intro to Lollipop on guitar. And then we, you know, hashed out our version of the song like an hour later. And it's, uh, it, it really is, it was just something we were going to do at a show at live once and then you know it, it's kind of turned into what it's turned into all on its own the label caught wind of the song that we were asked to record it it was sent to radio <clears throat> and then uh we were shooting an awesome music video that was three days of partying so that was pretty sweet um but i mean it's been fun i mean uh you know a lot of people have uh it's have embraced the song and i i don't think it was anything that any of us expected something like that to happen with because you know it's a hip-hop song and just to see the way the rock communities embrace the song is really it's really weird but and bizarre, but I mean, it's 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 awesome that it's happening. I mean, not just for us, just for music in general, and seeing how you know things can cross over now. But um, I mean, uh, not everybody loves the song. It's not for everybody. Entertainment Weekly named it the number one worst song of 2008. So, but uh, we were always told by our moms we'd be number one in something. So, there we go. Bring in the ruckus dot com. That's bring in like without the G. Uh, it's our merch site. You can find links to our MySpace and pretty much anything else you need to know. MySpace dot com slash framing Hanley. That's where all our info is, all the tour dates, anything you want to know can pretty much be linked or found off of our MySpace. And me and Nixon try to check it from time to time and get back to everybody. So make sure you uh, hit us up there. And we also just started a uh, artist page actually on Facebook. So uh, I know everybody's going through the Facebook craze now, so make sure you guys check that out. It's um 
you know, I mean, I mean, we've always been that band that's been a, a support band on tour. You know, we, this is our first ever headlining tour, so we didn't know what to expect. We were going in a lot of places. You know, we've been a couple times before when we were out with like Theory of a Dead Man or Trapped or Evans Blue. It was like we've been to a couple, you know, a few of these cities before, but still we're like, you know, we're not headlining now. I guess we'll we'll just take whatever happens. And uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting any more than a hundred kids, you know, a night. But uh, I mean, last night was our fourth sellout so far on this on this tour, and it's just been. The crowds have been unbelievable, and it's just they're so, they've been so receptive, and like, just I think probably like some of the most energetic crowds we've ever played in front of. So it's uh it's been a lot of fun. Like I'm definitely not looking forward to this ending.